Hello! It's a season of reforms occasioned by the imperatives of the times. How while the NNPC is galvanizing the industry in that direction, the National Oil Company has continued to entrench its own reforms and infrastructure restructuring towards greater commercial viability, etc., which continues to attract goodwill and commendation. The latest of this coming from Governor Udom Emmanuel. Did you know that you can now track your invoices submitted to NNPC for processing from the comfort of your homes and office? Courtesy of the company's ingenious Central Invoicing Processing Center of Excellence, CIP Hub. Along the same line is the culture of innovation, which inevitably no organization can do without in the contemporary business environment. Well, food for thought or thought for food. You will know this and lots more after you have watched this package. My name is Akin Agbujili. This is All on Gas Forum. Governor Emmanuel Udom has commended the ongoing reforms of the Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC, geared towards restructuring to transform the corporation into a commercially viable entity that will provide reliable product supplies within the country. The governor, who played host to the leadership of the upstream directorate led by Group Executive Director Adokeye Tombomieye at Government House, Uyo, said that the present crop of leadership and the nation's foremost oil company has shown commitment to doing things differently, especially by the demonstration of transparency in its financial management. He commended the management of NNPC for the bold decision of publishing the company's financial reports, which he described as unprecedented, emphasizing that such transparent act was important to regaining the confidence of the people. So let me thank you, and let me also say big congratulations for the restructuring. The boldness to do it will also give opportunity to all of you now who are group heads to write your name in a very big granite leg in this country. Because once you structure and put the structure in place and put the strategy, the systems that will enable that structure to run, history will never forget any of you. Udom charged the team to remain focused on current reforms, saying it is something that no matter how you are pushed by government or politicians, you have to get focused on it as professionals because of the expectations from the people. Earlier, the group executive director, upstream engineer Adoki Tumbumie, said the purpose of the two-day retreat in Uyo was to review the upstream directorate's performance between January to December 2021. He hinted that discussions were focused majorly on how to improve production and increase bottom line for the overall benefit of Nigerians. What we've done today is we chose Aquaibo as a place we can come, interact, and review our performance from January to date. One thing we do in NPC is at the beginning of every year, we set a target for each directorate, and at the end, we give an account to the federal government. In line with its commitment to efficient service delivery through the automation of its processes, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has launched its Central Invoice Processing CIP Hub. The center was launched by the company's Chief Financial Officer, CFO, Mr. Umar Ajia, at the NNPC Towers Abuja. Speaking at the event, the CFO said the launch of the CIP was a further demonstration of the Mala Milikari led management commitment to the principles of transparency, accountability, and performance excellence, tape, and compliance with global best practices. He described the launch of the CIP as a milestone in the operations of the Finance and Account Directorate, adding that the processing of invoices for contracts and job orders will now be hitch free on schedule and timely since the manual transmission of invoices by third parties to end users for payment has been eliminated. This is a very important milestone accomplished by the team, uh, a great work. Uh, what it does is that it is going to rekindle our uh, operational efficiency in terms of invoice processing time, uh, thereby reducing the long gestation period we used to experience in the past. Uh, with this, uh, invoices will be received centrally 
uh, in, in this place and also in F&A units of all other uh, SBUs. Also speaking at the event, the Group General Manager, Treasury, Mr. Adida Poshegun, commended the effort and drive of top management and staff of the NNPC towards making the CIP hub a reality. He said all stakeholders, especially customers and contractors, stand to gain a lot from CIP and called on them to comply with the process for efficient service delivery and prompt payment of bills. This is about stepping into the new realities uh, of competitive um, business and um, uh, entrenching best practices, even with a process as simple as invoice processing. The Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of NNPC, Mala Melikari, has harped on the importance of technology and innovation to the survival of contemporary business organizations and therefore tasked NNPC staff on the need to generate new ideas that will align the company with the present-day realities in the petroleum industry. Speaking at a retreat organized by the company's Research, Technology and Innovation RTI division in Abuja, Malam Kiari noted that the survival of NNPC as a limited liability company will depend majorly on the innovative ability of the workforce. He reiterated the need to develop a culture of innovation where people are allowed to make propositions, improve on processes, and speak out freely, adding that there is no way that a culture of innovation can be entrenched without leaning towards technology. This company must come with a culture of innovation so that people are allowed to make proposition, make definition of things, improve on processes, say when things are wrong, that we can do it better this way, and so on and so on. But that way, it can now become the world-class company that we really have the potential of becoming. Without innovation, every company will die. And today, the number of companies that are going down are because it's the companies that refuse to adjust. Also speaking at the event, the Group Executive Director, Ventures and Business Development, Dr. Billy Okoye, said that the NNPC was looking forward to RTI to chart a new course for the growth of the NNPC business in tandem with the global reality. He said that the retreat will provide an insightful perspective that will shape the evolution of the NNPC Limited into a company that Nigerians will be proud of. What can we do practically? To move an NPC forward with technology, we must, we must innovate to get an NPC to the next level. On her part, the Chief Innovation Officer, Mrs. Betsy Ugona, urged participants to focus on the key priorities of energy transition with particular focus on NNPC's business sustainability. She said the new NNPC, with the backing of the PIA, is focused on innovation towards the demonstration of extended energy forms away from the fossil fuels via technology that have the potentials to outperform the current market leaders. The new NNPC, with the backing of the PIA, has focused on innovation towards the demonstration of extended energy forms away from the fossil fuels via technologies that have the potential to outperform the current market leaders. The Chief Innovation Officer noted that innovation was the watchword in every corridor of today's business, while expressing delight that the NNPC through the RTI was not going to be left behind. She speaks more on the recent innovative initiatives by RTI. We have also fully deployed the patient experience monitoring system for the NMSL, and I hope each and every one of us have keyed in uh, to use this opportunity to give our feedback on the kind of services we are getting from NMSL. We have also a prototype two wonderful projects. We have been able to convert the keke to use of LPG. We are working on developing a keke or tricycle that will be powered by solar. In line with the global yearning for cleaner energy, the Group Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of NNPC, Mala Melikari, has charged the Upstream Directorate to develop action strategies towards generating the needed resources for energy transition. 
Kerry made this chant recently during a two-day intensive retreat organized by the upstream directorate of the NNPC in Uyo, Akwaibom State. While addressing participants through a virtual platform, the GMD said that it was important for all business leaders in the upstream to understand the enormous responsibility placed on the directorate in realizing the energy transition aspiration. He pointed out that close attention should be given to issues of security of assets, financing and stakeholders' management for efficient operation that would lead to business growth. Also speaking at the event, the Group Executive Director, Finance and Accounts Directorate and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Omar Ajia, said that with the growing in-country refining capacity, the upstream will likely defy the limitations posed by OPEC and COVID-19 pandemic to grow production. He advised the managing directors of the upstream strategic business units, SBUs, to focus more on competence and quality delivery that will enable them to attract jobs outside the NNPC, stressing that their continued existence in the new NNPC structure will depend on their level of profitability. On his part, the group executive director, upstream engineer Adoki Yetombomieye, emphasized on cost reduction and improved production as key areas of focus to support the NNPC in the new physical regime of Petroleum Industry Act PIA. He enjoined all staff of the directorate to adopt the principles of transparency and accountability in the discharge of their daily responsibilities. And of course, we have no choice but to grow production and increase the barriers. We should move away from PowerPoint to action, but action is not enough. We should move from action to execution. Execution is not enough. We should move from execution to cash. The money we make today will be the energy of tomorrow. We are all aware of the energy transition. Earlier in her welcome address, the Group General Manager, Crude Oil Marketing Division, COMD, of the NNPC, Mrs. Rose Eshiet, said that the retreat was a strategic engagement platform aimed at extracting viable solutions that would help the Directorate achieve its mandate. It is therefore important that we must deliver on our mandate. For NNPC to touch every life in Nigeria, not even, and even beyond Nigeria, it has to start with upstream.